And now, please welcome on stage Albert Shigata from End to End Express. Please take the picture. Good evening, already, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Albert Chigapo, and I am a manager at M2M Express. Uh, what are the realities of uh, M2M marketing uh, these days? It's one-time revenue per sale, uh, increased competition, and really reduced profitability. But today, I'm going to tell you that you can increase your customer's loyalty and thus earn income during entire equipment's lifespan. But first, a couple of words about our company. Uh, M2M Express uh, manufactured our first SIM card five years ago. And uh, throughout this time, more than a thousand of uh, companies have become our clients and partners. And uh, today, I'm here to introduce a whole new generation of m 2 SIM card, which is called multi-SIM card. All carriers of the world on one single SIM card. Each SIM card supported by three or more, depending on the country, car carriers. Uh, it also has an ability to switch between carriers whenever it loses connection from <coughs> one carrier and it automatically uh, switches to another one, which is basically magic. It also includes um, free international roaming, so you can feel in any place just like at home. Basically, one product which is beneficial in any part of the world. And also with us, you can earn. Uh, equip your devices with M2M SIM card from M2M Express, and you can get up to 30% from each subscriber's traffic data monthly, which is a huge amount. For integrators and manufacturers, we have, uh, we have developed a special plan. As, um, as those manufacturers and integrators, they usually specialize in devices that uh, consume not too many, not too much traffic data. We have established a plan, which is five euros for five years, which includes unlimited internet access in any part of the world. And also it includes the same, the same thing as, the, as, as I previously mentioned, automatically connection to any carrier of the world. However, uh, from today, the plan actually has changed, has been changed, and now it's five euros for ten years. Here are the logs of our uh, clients, which are Man and Tesla. And as you can see, it has been tested that uh, the SIM card automatically switches between carriers seamlessly, just instantly. Or a case uh, by company De Denpos. Uh, as you can see, the session on our SIM card works continuously throughout the day, unlike other carriers do. What they do is basically they uh, end session with each hour. And it's done in order to increase their cost of services. Our, our pilot project with Ajax showed that our, our uh, connection, our 
our signal is always better as a guest network. It's always better than locals. Here are some types of our SIM cards that we have in our company. Ordinary ones, three in one, also a thermal card for extreme conditions, and also we have MFF2 chips. And uh, it's time to share with you some cases, uh, successful actually cases of our partners. A certain manufacturer of vending machines for French fries. They could not go by Young Europe. And there was an issue with their current SIM card supplier. Not all of them were fit in terms of technicality and technical requirements to, for their machines. So after a series of tests with our SIM cards, this company managed to go by an euro in any, in any place of the world. And now you can enjoy French fries anywhere on this planet. Uh, if network does not work properly, a client might, might express their frustrations. And I'm pretty sure that sounds familiar for some of us. And uh, this is the problem that a manufacturer of terminal for Bitcoin faced. And what we did, we offered them our SIM cards in this case. And now, their clients are absolutely satisfied with the rates of, their, uh, of the network. And uh, unmanned vehicles are still some sort of a science fiction these days. However, unmanned combiners and tractors, they already exist. Hands up who has ever seen one in action. Mm -mm. No. Oh. Mm -mm. Not too many. Um, in around actually of uh, thousands of households around the world, there are already those things exist and they actually they are active. The good thing about this thing is uh, it works around the clock and does not drink. <laughs> Typical Russian problem. <laughs> uh, and uh, however, there is one drawback to this thing. If there's only one carrier, there's a high risk of losing network. And especially in fields, it's not the best environment in terms of connectivity. And that's why in around 2,000 of unmanned tractors, they are M2M SIM cards from M2M Express, equipped and installed, which uh, allows them to reconnect to and switch to any carrier at any chosen time. And I can think of <coughs> many cases uh, of success of our clients. Uh, we already, uh, I mean, our, our, our partners, they're already making money <coughs> Equipment, even after its sale. So uh, we will be pleased if you join us and uh, please get hold of our pilot project at our expense. As I said, all carriers of the world on one SIM card, which is the best solution on the market. And uh, from this day, client-oriented policy and starting loyalty. It's not companies' losses. It's their lifetime income. Thank you for your attention. And I would be pleased to answer any of your questions. Thank you, Albert. Do we have any questions? Anyone? Got some.
stumbled from your company, but it's not working, right? Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah. Still working. Which company are you? All that is closed in Iraq, right? Oh, yeah. You get all the target sales. And uh, the price also is uh, expensive. Why have to go to your solution if the local uh, operator gives me less than, less than 20% maybe than your rate? For example, I pay one dollar, when I found your SIM card, I have to pay three or four dollars. Uh, what, what, yeah, what's my the question is why I have to go with, 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 uh, with SIM card from your company if you not give me a competitor uh, uh, good price. Was that a testing SIM card or an actual one? Sorry? Was it a test SIM card that you got from an expo? Or did you actually it's buy this? With, uh, did you actually buy this SIM card? No, I got the test. Wow. Testing SIM cards, that's why they're they're for testing. They have really little amount of traffic. Just so no, you it's, can see it's it not yourself. connected. Probably no. because there is not, not, not any more traffic left. No, but it's, it's uh, I contact your support. It's, uh, it's, uh, my country is not listed. And the country we are in trust is not listed also. Uh, when they say to the okay, we can add it, but uh, it's an uh, expensive rate. From which country you are? Iraq. No wonder, and you, it's, no see, wonder it's expensive. See, uh, sorry? No wonder it's expensive in Iraq. When okay, what about countries? Syria, Iran? Well, with the Syria, the whole, that's a whole different thing. Yeah, you do know what Middle East is. What is the Middle East? In the Middle East, uh, there's, also, there's always a package which can be developed. For example, in Kuwait, we have a special package for Spacelink, and they are really happy. In, or in Kuwait, or in Gold area. You can yeah, use in one. Persian Gold, absolutely. As I've mentioned, some countries are not limited to our solution. But when you said it's all over the world, would work with every network, that means every country. Absolutely. But you should have mentioned that there are some exceptions for Iraq, Iran, Syria, and so on. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Can I have a question? Okay, uh, Albert, away from the code and the thing, mm -hmm. I just have some technical questions. Does this SIM card, uh, actually it's a very good, I think, solution for board, board crossing vehicles. But does this SIM card have any cap or bandwidth limitation? Any what? Uh, cap on the data or any traffic bandwidth? It depends where, uh, which package you choose. For example, if you choose data pool, mm -hmm. there is no cap until the pool is gone completely. Okay. And the other question is about what type of signal can connect to, like 3G, what? 4G? Uh, 2G, 3G, 4G might be as well. Okay. Me, I mean, I mean. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, the last question before we start the final discussion. In countries where roaming is restricted or regulated, excuse me, in countries where roaming, roaming uh, is, is regulated, uh -huh. like, so like, like in Iraq, 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 Iraq. or Jordan, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I've heard they're also, they're also regulated in Canada. So, so how your service works? Well, for we don't. Do, for example, this Kuwaiti company, they um, no, why, why their why their SIM card works in Arab Emirates because they travel through it through the country, and that's why it works. I know there is a there is a rule about of sixty days, I guess, and then after this, the no. yeah, it's not working anymore after sixty days. I, th I heard there is a rule in such countries like I yeah. 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 So your SIM card will not work after 60 days? Is it the same concept of SIM card? I cannot answer this question. Uh, otherwise, I will be sent. Kuwait is different story. Kuwait is not regulated. Excuse me? Kuwait is not regulated. It's yeah, Kuwait is not regulated. SIM card yeah. is allowed. But they can change it any day. Okay, thank you. 
I mean, I don't think there's time left. Uh, yeah, I know that we have some more questions, but how about we discuss it during the dinner, please? Just to keep up with the time. Thank you, Albert.